Hello everyone, Segmentator here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Let's have a quick chat with Tally. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? Yes, I'd like that. Oh dear. been thinking about the last time we talked. I'm sorry. I was unprofessional, and I wasn't thinking rationally. I was being stupid and selfish. You've never been selfish. <laughs> if anything, you spent too much time thinking of the fleet and not enough thinking of yourself. That might be true for humans, but Quarians are different. We can't just... We have to think of other people, always. If we don't think about the needs of the whole crew, people could get hurt, maybe even killed. You deserve to be happy with someone. I can't do that. No matter how much I... I could get sick, jeopardize the mission. And if you weren't jeopardizing anything? If it were just me? You risked your own life to save the colonists on Pharos two years ago. Nobody else could have saved them. I watched your face as Chief Williams died on Vermeer. I watched you stand strong against everything the galaxy threw at you. I've watched you for so long, and I never imagined you'd ever see past this. Are you saying you could die if we were together? It's always a risk. Maybe the reaction would be minor. Maybe it would put me down for a few weeks, or maybe it would kill me. But. That's not what I'm concerned about, Shepard. I don't want you distracted. I don't want what I want to hurt this mission. It's too important. Tally, if you're scared, I don't blame you. But I don't want anyone else. I want you. And I'll do whatever I have to to make this work. I... I, I wouldn't blame you if... but... Oh, thank you. You don't know what that... Thank you. Give me a little time. I'll do some research, figure out how to make this work. What can you do? Can I help? There are a few ways to temporarily improve my immune system. Immuno boosters, antibiotic injections, that kind of thing. I'll spare you the details. But trust me, I've got plenty of motivation to figure something out. It can't be that uncommon for a Quarian to have a relationship with another race. Sure, but in most cases, everything is happening outside the suit. Nerve stimulation programs and such. I don't want that. If I'm going to be with you, I want it to be real. I need to feel your skin on mine. I've never shown my face to anyone. But I'm ready to show you, if I can do it without dying. Do your research quickly, Miss Vast Normandy. Captain's orders. Oh, oh, r right. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Until then, I should, you know, do something. Repairs for the mission. <laughs> oh, bless her. She's so cute. Let's have a chat with some of the other crew members. Let's make sure everything's going tickety boo. I'm not going to talk to Miranda yet because we still need to do her loyalty mission. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Cool. Check in on Morden and uh, Jacob, and then we can go and do some more missions.
Shepard. How can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Later, updating crew dental records. All Cerberus personnel have cyanide capsules and molars. Primitive ocular nerve flashbangs harder to disarm. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. <laughs> With something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. I'm good, Shepard. Ready for anything. We live, we'll get loud and spill some drinks on the Citadel. We'll talk later. Commander. Alright, so Jacob's basically all done now. Alright. Oh, blimey. Right, better do some scanning and then we can crack on. All right, we're all done here now. That's right, so this area 100% done. The Krogan DMZ, DMZ. Right. Let's go and do Jack's loyalty mission. Get this out the way. Drag right, yeah, here we go. There we go. So then we'll sort it. Uh, tally will take you. Right, let's get you boosted. Vanguard, there we go. Do that one and that one. There we go. I forgot how much I hate this place. See the landing pad? Has to be on the roof, or the vegetation would overgrow it in a few hours. Shepard, I am picking up thermal signatures everywhere, except at your landing zone. Something's distorting the sensors. This was a secret Cerberus facility. Yeah, they build their equipment to last, assholes. It was a mistake coming back here, Shepard. Get a hold of yourself. It'll be okay. I'm fine. Okay, let's get on the ground. Ooh, rainy. All right, anything on the roof? Well, I mean, the rain effects on the arm is really nice. Let's just get in there and plant the bomb in my cell. I want to watch this place burn. Alright. That's what we're here to do, so we're going to get it done. Get her done! Okay, anything in here? I never saw this room. I think they brought new kids in these containers. They were messed up and starving, but alive. Usually. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Um, that one. That one. Give me those credits. The elusive man requested operation logs again. Sounds like this Oop. facility went rogue. He didn't say what they were hiding from the elusive man. Oops. I turned it off before it finished. My bad. I remember escaping to the 
fighting here. I saw sunlight through the cracks in the ceiling. Only a half-dead guard between me and freedom. He was begging for his life. I see. Right, can't go up there. I hear you, Farron. Farron, whatever. That's right. They used to stage fights here. Hit me against other kids. I loved it. Only time I was ever out of my cell. What were they studying? Hell if I know. Maybe that's how they got their kicks. I never understood anything that happened here. How often did they do this? I was in a cell my whole life. Sometimes they took me out and made me fight. Filled me with drugs, other stuff. Time gets funny in a cell. Did other children die in these fights? I was a kid, filled with drugs. I got shocked when I hesitated. Narcotics flooded my veins when I attacked. They actually rewarded you for attacking? I still get warm feelings during a fight. What the hell was wrong with those people? I don't know. Doesn't matter now. Let's keep moving. Hell yeah. They were definitely messed up. I'm not gonna lie. Officer Zimkel, Telton facility. The subjects are out of their cells. They're tearing the place up. Subject Zero is going to get loose. I need permission to terminate. I repeat, permission to terminate. All subjects besides Zero are expendable. Keep Jack alive. Understood. I'll begin the... That's not right. I broke out when my guards disappeared. I started that riot. Things might have happened that you didn't see. The other kids attacked me. The guards attacked me. The automated systems attacked me. That doesn't leave lots of room for interpretation. Actually, it kind of does. This place is supposed to be empty. Who the fuck shot that Baron? It's a fresh kill. Right, you go there. You there, you there, and you there. Perfect. Hello? We've been spotted. Maybe don't get in my line of fire. They need a morgue. This was a small facility. The other children must have died in great numbers. Even then, they were part of the experiment. Bullshit. I had the worst of it, and I made it out alive. Well, not everyone has your, uh... Your survival instincts, Jack. Give me the one I need. There we go. Perfect.
Perfect. Right, let's crack on. So strange to be back here. I feel like I'm pissed off. I'm a dangerous bitch, but then I'm a little girl again. Shit, it's complicated. Let's just go plant that bomb. They've seen us. <coughs> <laughs> Sorted. Anything else in here? Yeah, these people were supremely messed up. This, it's a two-way mirror. My cell is on the other side. I could see all the other kids out here. I screamed at them for hours, and they always ignored me. Well, now we know why. They couldn't see you. I must have come through here when I broke out. But I don't remember it. This is a bad place. Ominous looking dentist type chair. One, four, and six died. No biotic change among the survivors. We lowered core temperatures of surviving subjects, but no biotically beneficial reactions occurred. As a side effect, all subjects died. So we'll not try that on zero. I hope our supply of biotic potential subjects holds up. We are going through them fast. This is bullshit. They weren't experimenting on the other children for my safety. You can't help what they did to others. You don't get it, Shepard. I survived this place because I was tougher than the rest. That's who I am. You move on, harder and tougher. All right. Um, that one, that one. Ah, crap, missed it. That one. Thank you. This might be useful. Yeah. It's all fallen to pieces. The subjects are rampaging and Zero is loose. We're shutting Kelton down. What a disaster. We'll infiltrate and piggyback onto the Alliance's ascension program. Hopefully. That will give... Who oh, what? Zero, wait! Shepard, they started up somewhere else. Ascension is an alliance program. It's a school for biotic kids. They don't torture children there. A lot of this isn't the way I remember it. There was a lot going on. I was dumb. I keep my eyes open now, and I always shoot first. We're getting close to my cell, the place I came from. Let's keep going. All right. Hey, Arash, it's Kira. Yeah, the intruders are here. You want them dead? We have to talk creds. You promised us lots of salvage, but this place is a waste. Fine, we'll put him down. Then I'm coming in there and we're gonna talk salvage. What are you doing here? First, we're gonna kill you. Then, we'll see. Kill them on my own. I want them dead. 
infantry fire. All squads, form up now. Pushing overrun. We outnumber and outgun all. Enemy charging. and I want it now. Nothing can be charging. Yeah, well. Oh, kill them like so. Left is my old cell. Whoever a rush is, he's in there. I want to plant the bomb there anyway. Might as well do it on his corpse. Hey, hold on. Come out. We know you're here. Are you? My name is Oresh, and you're breaking into my home. I know you, Subject Zero. So many years have passed, and I thought I was the only survivor. My name is Jack. How the hell do you know me? We all knew your face, Jack. They inflicted horrors on us so their experiments wouldn't kill you. You were the question, and I'm still looking for the answer. Looks like you're not the only one pulled back here, Jack. I tried to forget this, but a place like this, it doesn't forget you. It follows you. I hired these mercs and came back almost a solar year ago. We're rebuilding it piece by piece. I'm gonna find out what they knew, how to unlock true biotic potential in humans. I'm restarting the Telton facility. It will be beautiful. I wanted a hole in the ground. He's trying to justify what happened by using it? You'd do the same thing to new kids? Wasn't this forced on you? Some were bought from poor families on Earth or kidnapped from colonies. Most ended up here the way I did. Batarian pirates. They did such horrible things to us. They must have had good reasons. There's no reason good enough. Are you nuts? You lived it. This place was like a prison. How did you get out? We all attacked at once as they were taking us to the lab. They would have put us down, but then Jack got loose. When I came to, it was over. The guards, the scientists, and the kids were all dead. And you were gone. I stopped it. All of it. Maybe the others did have it bad, but what you're doing is just messed. Everything we went through must have been worth something. We can blow up the place, but that still leaves him. What do we do with another you? That's easy. Just leave me here. This is where I belong. Fuck that. Jack, he's trapped in his past. You need to move on from yours. He wants to restart this place. He needs to die. He's crazy, and he's never going to restart this facility. You have to let it go. Your past doesn't have to control you. Fuck. Get out of here. Go. He's not worth chasing. None of it is. You did the right thing, Jack. Maybe. This room was my whole childhood. Give me a minute to look around. Go ahead. Nothing's changed, but it's all different. I thought that room out there was the rest of the world. I'd pound and yell. Never did me good. Sometimes I dream that I'm back in this bed being tortured. I used to tie the sheets around my wrists and try to rip them off. I want to stop coming back here. I used this table for everything. It was like my best friend. I'd crawl under it to cry. I was pathetic. Alright, I think we're done here. See the scarring on the wall here? That's where I killed my first man. One of the guards tried to stop me. Instead, I stopped him. 
Okay. No more wallowing. Let's blow this place to hell. Kaboom! Be the anxious Jack. Doris. What's that? Gain the loyalty of the biotic convict. Cool. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Uh, from Erdnot Dog. Dear human, the clan leader told me how to get in touch with you. I don't remember much of what happened, but the chief scout said you pulled my quad out of the fire when I got caught and poisoned over at the Warlock camp. Thanks. Next time I have a chance to kill a human, I won't. Unless I go into blood rage or something. I got to the female camp after I recovered and it was pretty good. I was actually thinking of joining the blood pack before this happened. I think I'm going to stay here instead. Well, good for you. Alright. Just checking on Jack. See how she's doing after that. I needed to wipe that place off the map. You took me there to do it, and I owe you. You don't know what it's like, Shepard, to have garbage like that following you. It marks you in ways you... you don't expect. I've made a lot of hard choices, Jack. Like what to let go. Hard to walk away from it. You'd think it would get easier now that the place is a crater. But what else do I know? I never thought I'd see you show mercy, but you let a wretch live. He was trapped in the past, reliving it every day. You showed how that could be me. I'm not getting stuck like that. I'm better than him, and I'm sure as hell not carrying that crater around with me. Do you think you're different now? I know that place is gone, but I still kind of want to kill every person I see. No offense. I'll take what I can get with you, Jack. You did a lot, Shepard. Shit. I'm not good at this soft stuff. Just... Thanks, okay? Let's... Let's get back to work. Good stuff. Alright. Checking with Tally again, because why not? Kenneth, what has the new shielding done to your power grid balance? Not much. With built-in capacitor subsystems, they have a surprisingly low draw. Doesn't that mean the shielding boost wouldn't last long under fire? True. They're built for hard, fast strikes, not firefights of attrition. It's Ellie. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? For you? Of course. I can't tell you how much what you said means to me. But I understand if you need to find something, someone else. Not that I'm complaining if you're still interested. Um, are you still interested? I don't want to risk your health, but I'm willing to wait. Thank you. I want you to see what's under this damn helmet. I need to feel your skin against mine to share myself with you before we fly off into the final battle. I'll find a way. Ah. Cuteness overload. Right. Just checking with Grunt. Grunt, my boy, how you doing? Shepard. Just checking in. How you doing? I'm branching out. Got a list of enemies now. They all give me joy when I picture cutting them, crushing them. There's this one imprint, a Solarian with the... What are they? The things on his head pulled apart? Bet it caused a generation of revenge. What is that, a few weeks for them? So what did you want? You know, I kind of thought connecting with your past would bring stability. <laughs> See, now we're having fun. 
me remembering good deaths and you with your your funny human thing you're doing. <laughs> My job is to hurt things. Direction, control, that's your job, Battlemaster. You're why I'm a soldier, not dead or crazed like an animal. Thank you, Shepard. You gave me purpose. Now let's find something big to kill. Ah, Grunt, you're all kinds of awesome. Uh, yep. Yeah. Jacob doesn't really have anything new to say, nor Garrus for now. Uh, let's check it on Morden. And some upgrades. Upgrades. Do we have any new stuff? Yes. Biotic damage. Duration. Let's get that underway. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, good timing, in fact. Excellent. Made breakthrough. Can share results while next samples grow. Hate waiting for culture analysis. Never fast enough. Usually no result in advance. Just checking work. Have to be careful. Getting off track. Discovery. Based on Prothean Collector Connection, can examine technology, chart Reaper species modification, fall of Protheans. Tell me what happened. Early stages similar to indoctrination, can guess captured Protheans lost intelligence over several cloned generations. Cybernetic augmentation widespread afterward, as Protheans failed, Reapers added tech to compensate. Mental capacity almost gone, replaced by overworked sensory input transfers. Transmitting data to masters. Is there anything we can do to help them? No. No glands replaced by tech. No digestive system replaced by tech. No soul replaced by tech. Whatever they were, gone forever. Understand now? No art, no culture, closer to husks than slaves. Tools for reapers. Protheans dead. Collectors just final insult. Must be destroyed. Agreed. I didn't think you needed any more motivation than you already had to stop the collectors. Enjoyed challenge. Saw necessity of attack on collectors after Plague on Omega. Their work, my people. Hard to care about two armies. One wins, one loses. Always work to do after. Now, have more context. See what collectors are. Wasn't looking for other work before. Don't mean to imply that. Just commit it now. Won't let you down. You said the collectors had no art. I had no idea you cared about that kind of thing. Personal interest negligible. Sang a little. Multi-species productions for cultural exploration. Gilbert and Sullivan always had me do the patter songs. But not about me. Cultural artistic expression reflects philosophical evolution. Interest in growth, perspective, observation, interpretation. Suspect you won't see any art in collector base. Culturally dead. Tools for reapers. Worse than the Geth. I'm sorry. I know that was important, but you performed Gilbert and Sullivan? I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. I've studied species Turian, yes. Asari, and Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert, which I know is a tautology. My xenoscience studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. <laughs> And that's why we love Morden. <laughs> what is it about the collector's modifications that bothers you so much? Disrupts socio-technological balance. All scientific advancement due to intelligence overcoming, compensating for limitations. Can't carry a load, so invent wheel. Can't catch food, so invent spear. Limitations. No limitations, no advancement. No advancement, culture stagnates. Works other way, too. Advancement before culture is ready. Disastrous. Saw it with Krogan. Uplifted by Salarians. Disastrous. Our fault. You blame the Salarians for what the Krogan did? Yes. Like giving nuclear weapons to cavemen. Krogan unprepared for spaceflight. Technological advance. Krogan could have evolved alone. Worked out aggression. Been ready to use new tech responsibly. Instead, Salarians came. Disrupted Krogan culture. Used Krogan as blunt instrument against Ratnai. Short-sighted. Foolish. Thanks for sharing what you've learned, Morton. Proud to be here, Shepard. Thank you for including me. Uh, couldn't get through Mass Effect 2 without the Gilbert and Sullivan songs. No messages for you, Commander. 
Cheers, Kelly. Right. Jack's loyalty mission is done. So let's do some scanning and then we can move on. All right, we're all done. So let's move on. Okay, there should only be one more loyalty mission to do for now, and that's Miranda. So let's head over to Ilium for now. Get these last two recruits and Miranda's loyalty mission out the way. There we go. Jack all sorted. Uh, we'll take Miranda and Tally. Uh, leave that for now. There we go, we'll do that one. Welcome to Ilium. Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Who instructed you to waive the fees? The order came from Liara Tassoni, who paid all fees on your behalf. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. What can you tell me about Nos Astra? It's an exciting city. We see a lot of new cultures and goods because of our proximity to the Terminus systems. At the same time, Ilium is still in a sorry world. You should be as safe here as you would be on the Citadel. For your own safety, however, I recommend against signing anything. What's so dangerous about signing something? Ilium is a free trade world commander. Contract term requirements are more relaxed here than on other planets. It's a small price to pay for keeping our competitive edge in goods from the Terminus systems. You mentioned trading. What gets traded on Ilium? Anything you can imagine, Commander. Ilium is a wonderful world for those who can afford it. In order to remain competitive as a Terminus Systems port, we've relaxed many of the standards you'd find on other Asari worlds. Most drugs are legal, provided they are labeled properly. You can buy almost any weapon or technology. You can even buy indentured servants. I can't believe an Asari world would allow slavery. We try to avoid calling it slavery. All indentured servants on Ilium have voluntarily agreed to a term of service. Most choose indentured service as a means to pay off debt or avoid imprisonment. A contract holder is responsible for the well-being of her servants, and a servant's duties are agreed upon before the contract is signed. Doesn't make it any better. Do you have any recommendations about what to do on Nas Astra? Our trading center is directly ahead. You'll find restaurants and shops nearby as well. I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find things on Nos Astra that you can't find anywhere else in the galaxy. You said Liara was here? What's she doing? Liara is one of Nosastra's most respected information brokers. Nosastra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. I bet she was. I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Brilliant. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. 
Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. Also, I have a message for Miss Lawson. Lantea has reserved a room at Eternity and will be waiting. Thank you, Edie. Cool. So those are our three main missions. How dare you take away our right to enslave people? You have to give the Asari credit. Ilium is a cultural marvel. Humanity can learn a lot from their ingenuity. No, you don't understand. I lost it somewhere near the transport terminal. It can't be replaced. It's a token from my bondmate. It's the only thing my child has to remember her father by. Please, if you find it. No, I. Understand. Right. Pardon me, I'm on a call. That's a, a thing to watch out for. Twenty-five. Cell at twenty-five. Very few quarians ever set foot here. Ilium doesn't allow the flotilla to approach beyond a certain distance. This is the greatest planet in the galaxy for those who can afford it, and they work hard to keep the quarian fleet away. Excuse me. Excuse me, are you Commander Shepard? You're Commander Shepard? I saw your... I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. What message were you asked to give? Shepard, we hide. We borrow. We build. But we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours. And our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will sing again because of you. I'm glad to hear that you're rebuilding. Are you somewhere close by? The Rachni Queen is not here. That message is one of many memories I carry from her. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. How did you find the Rachni? I was working as a courier. Pirates ambushed my ship, and I was forced down on an uncharted planet. I was badly injured, alone and near death. Then they found me. They saved me. You obviously got off world again. Did the Rachni give you a ship? No. Countless workers repaired my ship. It runs better now than it did before. They remind me of the keepers on the Citadel in a way. All working together, each with a purpose. What happened to the pirates who attacked you? <laughs> they were obliterated. As they should have been. The Rachni are not aggressive, but they do what they must. You said the Queen gave you a purpose. What do you mean? The Queen shared her song with me as I recovered. I saw the Rachni as only an Asari could. They are so beautiful and so vulnerable. They needed someone to purchase things they cannot make themselves. Someone to work within the system. An agent, if you will. I am happy to help. My life as a courier was empty and shallow. Now I'm helping a great race rebuild itself. Can you tell me where the Rachni are? I'm afraid not. I don't even have that information myself any longer. After I met the Rachni Queen, that information was removed. It's not painful, but I simply don't remember. I'll remember when I need to, and her caution is understandable. The galaxy isn't yet ready for the return of the Rachni. I got that she was grateful. What else was the message saying? That the first Rachni war was a mistake. Something soured the voices of her people. In Rachni psychology, that would be like mind control, I think. It doesn't really translate. Anyway, 
She believes you are fighting the ones who did that, and she promises to help. She thinks that the Reapers caused the Rachni War? I can't say for sure, but she was certain that her ancestors were forced into war against their will. Her people aren't naturally aggressive. If they made war, it was not of their own doing. Thank you for giving me that information. I'm glad my friend in Averia is doing well. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. Ominous. Holy crap, Shepard. I thought you were dead. Hello, Gianna Parasini. Shepard? The news said you were dead. What happened? No, wait, probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. Happy to help. What happened to Administrator Analeas? He made the one mistake Novaria won't tolerate. He got caught taking their money. He's doing a few years in white collar prison. More importantly, he won't work in the field again. Sit down. If I remember right, I owe you a beer. What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. You ever heard of the Collectors? They're attacking human colonies. I'm gonna stop them. Damn, Shepard. For me, a tough job involves more paperwork. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've gotta go. Talk to you later. And don't forget to drink your beer. Shepard had to leave. Target saw me. Couldn't break cover. A sorry merchant smuggling schematics from Navaria. Can you talk talk her into showing you the good stuff? Oh, I'm guessing I could do that. I'm looking. Hello. Welcome. You look like someone who needs high quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. Is everything here so expensive? I plan to drop a lot of credits today. Really? I'm outfitting a team for a dangerous mission. I need the best and I'm willing to pay for it. As long as you work with me. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small discount. And when I get special items in, you can take a look. What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs. Nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. Do you have anything else? Anything not listed on your main merchandise kiosk? Well, there is one thing. Very advanced design. Not publicly available yet. That's because it's still in development on Avaria And illegal for export. Hello, Hermia. Parasini! You set me up! But this isn't Novaria. You don't have the authority to arrest me! I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. <coughs> Do you have the authority to seize the schematic she's trying to sell? I don't have to. Hermia was under suspicion. We leaked a faulty device to her. All this thing will ever do is blow up in your face. I, I need to go. I have to talk to my lawyer. Talk fast, Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford him. <laughs> oh, that was good. I've got to go file a few papers. Come by my table when you've got a minute. Will do. Right, let's see what we can buy. This should come in handy. There we go. That's everything. All right. Hermia is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. Thanks for the help, Shepard. I love nailing Asari. So ageless and superior. Then you get them and they squeal like schoolgirls. It must be nice having a job that you really enjoy. I wanted to be a cop or C-Sec, but my family had bills. I needed the money a corporate job brought in. Besides, in this job, you don't see things that make it hard to sleep at night. White-collar crime is nice and clean. Hell, at least this time I didn't have to wear heels and a dress. How'd you end up on Novaria, anyway? Scholarship program and a competitive internship. Turned out I was only middling at the science, but I could always ferret out secrets. You grow up poor and surrounded by rich kids, you get good at hiding yourself. 
helps with going undercover. What's up next for you? Research. We've had some hacking attacks lately, and I want to make sure they're external. A lot of people are suddenly interested in dark energy. My bosses want to know if it's something to worry about. That'll hold me over until I have to hmm. go back undercover anyway. It must be hard, going undercover so often. It's not so bad. Go new places, be new people. The only weird part is when you go home and try to talk to people, and you forget how to react. Like it's another cover, you know? Deep down, Partio likes fooling people. That's what makes you good at it. Part of me, yeah. I grew up poor and working class. Now I walk around the rich and powerful, taking notes, getting evidence. And they never see me coming. <laughs> it's been a pleasure, Gianna. You too, Shepard. See you around. Oh, hell with it. Mwah. <laughs> Much better than an autograph. Take care of yourself, Shepard. Yeah, I'm sure my girl Tally appreciated seeing that. I need minimal heat increase. Right, what shall we do first? arrested watch yourself if you go in there some human is causing trouble he's demanding that I sign the place over to him I'll be careful or you could kill him you know legally in self-defense I'd make a really good witness failing that I'm hooking up security cameras now if he or anybody else causes trouble I'll have their asses arrested fair enough I wonder who that could be. Conrad Werner. You want to see how far I'll go? I learned how to shove a gun in people's faces from Commander Shepard. Hey, if you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? Shepard, is it really you? It's me, Conrad Werner. We met on the Citadel. I wanted to become a specter. Oh, uh. And then you shoved a gun in my face. You showed me what it meant to be truly extreme. I learned that lesson well. So you're alive, huh? I hear it goes like that in the biz. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? I got some asses to kick. Conrad, why are you acting like me? What are you, crazy? I'm nothing like you. I'm not a specter working for the council. I'm on my own, backed only by my wits and my nerves. No rules, no laws, just whatever it takes to get the job done. Sure, sure, I'm Conrad. Not like you at all. Conrad, do you have any actual combat training? I'm saving the galaxy, Shepard. I don't have time for training. Don't you get it? You were a big jerk. But you saved the galaxy and showed other races that humans mattered. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. How did you get that arm? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days, if you're willing to pay. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive, but my wife was really supportive. She even paid for my shuttle fare off world. <laughs> <laughs> so, you just wander the galaxy, righting wrongs? Hey, don't say it like that. I talk to people, you know? Ask them if they have big problems that only I can solve. You'd be surprised how many people are just waiting for someone to talk to them. Sometimes I poke through crates too, you know, for extra credits. <sighs> Any decent security system will detect that you aren't in the military, much less part of my squad. I just say that I'm deep cover and don't appear on systems. I'm doing the best I can, okay? You were a hero. You saved the galaxy and showed everyone what humanity could do. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sand dealer. I need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapons store near the carport? She's an undercover cop. She told me about it when I introduced myself. Listen, crap for brains. First, we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. 
I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my pay. Just let me know if you need any help, Shepard. Oh dear, Conrad. Well, we're going to have to end this episode here and get to the bottom of this red sand mystery in the next episode. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma later. This has been Mass Effect 2 Leg Legendary Edition, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now. I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. I've studied species Turian, Asari, and Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert, which I know is a tautology. My xenoscience studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of a scientist Solarian.